Hi Kathy, this is Colton with North Isle Nissan. Thank you very, very much for entertaining this idea with us. Um, behind me, I've got the brand new 2020 Nissan Qashqai. Uh, this Qashqai actually just got a refresh this year. So they kind of gave it a new front end. Those rims are brand new this year as well. Um, I honestly really want this car out of here because like I said before, I almost bought it about a month ago. Uh, and I want to stop looking at it. I've already got a Qashqai. I don't need another one, but they made it look gorgeous. Uh, this is the SL trim level, so it does get that leather interior. Um, for some of the safety features, they did add some in since you bought your Juke. So they all come with forward emergency braking now, which actually saves you 10% off your basic insurance. Uh, and then there's other features like the blind spot warning. This one does have the 360 camera like you would have in your Juke too. Um, so lots and lots of nice features in this one. There's also a couple more with the cruise control that I'll go over when I'm inside of the vehicle. Um, but it is a gorgeous color. I really love this orange. They call it a monarch orange. Uh, those rims are super cool too. They changed those around this year. Uh, it does have the button on the door handle to lock and unlock the vehicle. Uh, the seats are very comfortable. There's a little bit more lower back support than I find that are in my 2017 model that I have. Um, so very comfortable seats. It does have that dark leather interior. The rear seats, there is a good amount of more space in these rear seats than what you'd have in the Juke. And they've packed them with airbags as well. So there's the curtain airbags that go along the roof. And they also just added in these side airbags this year as well. So there's some in the side there. That, so anyone in the back is fully protected. Um, and they're safe for kids as well because they're not coming directly at them. They actually just go along the side. So in case of a rollover or anything like that, you won't have any, there won't be any arms flying out the window or anything like that. So they'll be very safe. You're kind of cocooned in airbags. Um, the Qashqai has a really cool storage system too. It's actually similar to the one in the Rogue. Uh, so the, there's actually two panels here and you get about, I would say three or four inches of storage space underneath this panel. And then there's a second one in the back here. And then these mats are kind of in the way, but this one can actually go straight up and down. And so you can create a divide portion of it. So if you have anything that might be rolling around, you can kind of keep it down there. Um, or if you want to separate your groceries, for example, you can have some in the front and some in the back there. Um, so really cool. These seats do fold down quite flat as well. I'll actually show you that real, real quick too. Um, I have slept in the back of my cash guy quite a few times now. Um, so that's no problem there. I'll go back to the back real quick. So you can see it is kind of flush there, so that's nice. It's not like a lip or anything. Uh, it gives you a little bit extra space if you ever need it. And again, this one does come with remote start, so you wouldn't need to have that installed. Um, Mike, the owner, is just emailing uh, his friend there right now with all the information on your Juke to see if he would be interested in it. Um, I would guess it's a little bit more kilometers than what he was looking for, but it's so close, so I guess he'd be, I I'm assuming he'll be interested. Um, it does have the power seats, there's a lumbar control, you can move them up and down, down and forward and back. Uh, this one does have a heated steering wheel, which is really nice, it's that button right there. Um, you can lock the all-wheel drive in, but if you don't have it locked in, it will still work automatically. Uh, this button's for the Pro, Pro Pilot Assist, and that I'll go over with the cruise control in just a minute. Um, then there's the sport mode and the eco mode, so one will give you a little bit more power, the other will give you a little bit less power, one will burn more fuel, but the eco mode will save you a little bit more fuel. So you kind of get the options there. Um, you can drive without either of those on, and it's just a mix of the both. Um, I believe very similar to what you have in the Juke as well, actually. It'll kind of change the way the steering works and everything like that. Uh, it is a push button start, so put it on the brake and then hit that button to start the vehicle up. There is a blind spot warning, that little light that was lit up, lit up right there. Um, so that'll light up when someone's in your back corner or for the rear cross traffic alert. Uh, there's auto headlights in it, and then on the cruise control, there's the intelligent cruise control button right there, and then there's the Pro Pilot Assist right here. So those ones, you set your cruise control like you normally would, and say you're on the highway doing 110. The intelligent cruise control it's actually going to follow the flow of traffic so if somebody in front of you slows down below 110 it's going to slow you down as well to match their speed and then if you go into the left lane to pass them or if they speed up uh, it's going to get you back up to that 110 that you had originally set now the pro pilot assist is a little different uh, i used it a couple times and i i didn't totally love it and then i drove a rogue to courtney 
and it worked amazingly, phenomenally. I don't, I don't know the best descriptive word for that, um, but pretty much what it does is it actually kind of does the steering for you. So same thing, you set your cruise control like you normally would, so you turn it on, you can see it uh, right, right up there, that's my hands out of the way. Um, so you set your cruise control like you normally do, and you can turn this on or off, you don't have to use it, but it's gonna steer in between the lines. Now it is assisted steering, not self-steering, so you do still have to have your hands on the steering wheel, uh, and it's just going to, it uses a camera up in the front, and it detects both lines on the road and it's going to keep you down the middle of both of those lines. Uh, again, I used it on the road up north and it does use the camera to detect the lines on the road and it didn't work quite as well. Like it, it did its job. It kept me in the middle. I didn't go over either of the lines. It did its job, but I found on a just a two-lane road like that, it was a little tight. It kind of wanted to keep me closer to the middle line, but then I took it to Courtney on the New Island Highway where it's the double lane and it drove the whole way from the Shell Station at the top of the hill all the way to Piercy Road is where I took my left turn. Uh, it drove the whole way. I was really, really impressed by it. It worked really well, and I've driven that highway a million times. It gets so boring, and I would love to have that feature in my car. One of the reasons I actually wanted to buy this one here. Um, but the screen in it, uh, fairly standard there. You do keep all the buttons along the side. Uh, they did actually add an Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so if you do have a smartphone, you can plug it in to actually pull up Google Maps. Maps. This one does have the built-in navigation as well, but the Google Maps works in real time. So say if there's an accident on the road, it'll give you an update if the road's closed down and ask if you want to reroute and things like that. It's really, really smart and it's really cool to have. I've used it once going to Vancouver and it was amazing because there was an accident after the Lionsgate Bridge and had me reroute and then the accident was cleared. So it asked me if I wanted to reroute again. It, it worked super well. Um, there is a dual climate control, so you can't set a different temperature for each side of the vehicle. They move to an electric parking brake. And then on the gear shifter there, uh, you can pull it into drive, but you can also move it over for a manual mode, or you can push it up or down to shift up, up and down a gear, um, or shift it back into automatic. Uh, there are heated seats. Again, it has that heated steering wheel. Uh, there's the sunroof up top. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful car. Um, my manager is working on appraising your trade-in right now, so we'll get you some payments. I'm so sorry this video was so long. There's so much to go over, um, but we'll get you those payments right away, and we'll go from there. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great rest of your day.